What's going on guys, I'm Marklin Sanger from Techno Buffalo, and in today's video we're just going to quickly recap why we think the Moto 360 is the top wearable of the year, and see whether it's worth buying now or waiting until the next version is released. So let's go ahead and get started. So why did we choose the Moto 360 as the best wearable of the year? Well, that question isn't so easy to answer, but there are a few notable reasons why we consider it to be the top of the pile. Let's start off with style. The Moto 360 is stunning. I've been wearing it for the past two weeks and it gets attention pretty much everywhere I go. It's sleek, clean, and the classic round design is a nice way to blend the smartwatch technology of today with more timeless watches from decades past. In addition to a stealthy black with metal and leather watch band options, Motorola recently released a gold and silver Moto 360 variant, and they look absolutely gorgeous. The Moto 360 is a little thick, which is a concern, but considering how much technology is packed inside, the design is overall still very impressive. The second thing worth noting is the big screen. The Moto 360 has the biggest round display on a smartwatch that's running Android Wear, and I absolutely love that. Even though it's not a complete circle or using OLED or AMOLED technology, it's using LCD, it's a display I can appreciate even with that little slit at the bottom. If you're willing to look past that, I think having that larger screen makes the whole user experience better. And coming from using the G-Watch R, I much prefer the Moto 360's display over the G-Watch R. And that goes back to what I mentioned earlier in style. It looks gorgeous and a larger display makes it easier to see and navigate around Android Wear. Third thing that's notable is the Qi wireless charging capability. This feature is probably one of the cooler things about the Moto 360, and as of now, it's the only Android Wear device out in the market that supports Qi wireless charging. And I found that having this on a smartwatch is super convenient. I think every smartwatch should have Qi wireless charging because it just makes charging so much easier. I can just drop the watch in its dock, and bam, it's charging automatically, and I can just pick it up whenever I need it without wires getting in the way. Now, last but not least, the relatively affordable price tag. There are a bunch of smartwatches available right now from Pebble, Samsung's own gear lineup, and the various Android Wear devices out in the market. The Moto 360 is in the middle between Samsung's Square Design Gear Live and LG's G Watch R, starting at only $250. It's not the cheapest one out there, but for the design, functionality, and battery life, the Moto 360 makes a great companion to any Android device. Now that Android 5.0 is slowly rolling out to Android Wear devices, you'll get more out of your smartwatch, and we actually did a video about Android 5.0 Lollipop on the Moto 360, so make sure to check out the links down below this video. We covered some of the new features and new watch faces you can install. So the question is, is it worth getting the Moto 360 now, or should you wait for the next iteration Moto 360? If you're looking to get a smartwatch now, there's nothing wrong with buying the Moto 360. Because it's a first generation device, there are definitely issues, but we still feel it's the best wearable in the market. Most of the shortcomings come down to Android Wear, though the recent update has helped make the experience more powerful. With some design tweaks and more advanced technology, I'm excited to see what Motorola has for us in the near future. Hopefully we'll see a full circle display that doesn't cover up the bottom portion of the screen, and maybe a bigger battery that'll last even longer. Now, what would you guys like to see on the next Moto 360? Just let us know in the comments down below. And as always, I'm Mark Sanger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys would like to see more tech related videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And we're also on Twitch, so make sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash techno buffalo.